guys, welcome to another Four Realms of Chaos review video. This time we're taking a look at GameMat.eu's terrain. This is the industrial set, and you'll see on this table uh, that the mat also belongs to GameMat.eu. So first we have the industrial set, like I said. So this comes with all the pieces you see on the table, and the same quantities and everything. So they give you these like factory engines at the bottom corner, and you get this bigger centerpiece in the middle. So let's take a closer look at these terrain pieces. So this is the large centerpiece that you get with the terrain set. It's really cool and we got our set pre-painted. So it came in this like old rusty looking scheme with some metal. And yeah, it's, I would say it's definitely worth the upgrade for the painted cost. Even though we do paint, it just saves a lot of time. So next is one of these smaller engine pieces. You get four of them in the set. So all the terrain from GameMat.eu comes with placeholders at the bottom, and that helps it stick on the table and not shift around all the time. Okay, so next we're gonna look at the storage crate. So they're actually pretty hefty, and yeah, let's give it a turnaround, and there's the side doors. They're really cool, nice sci-fi looking piece of terrain. Next are these pipes. So they are self-explanatory. They're pipes! Yep. Um, and there are three of them stuck together. And yeah, they're pretty, pretty good. So nice and simple. So next we're going to take a look at these crates. This set comes with a bunch of them and they're great to just have a variety around the table. You can set them up like you see here, but you can also just move them around have like a huge combination, a big wall of them, and really they're very interchangeable and you can just fill them up around the mat. So here we have a Skitari model for a size comparison. He's actually quite large, so it's just his theme suits this mat. So yeah, so here are the crates, pretty big, and you can see these are giant next to him. And we have the centerpiece right here and these engines yeah so the tubes right there so yeah um, this terrain it does take up a big part of the table only thing is like you would need a couple you would stack these to have some big line of sight blocking pieces in the middle uh, or I guess make some big rock formation or something to have just to change up the table but otherwise we really like this terrain and we think it really suits this map too so check them out so the next terrain set we're going to review is gothic ruins so this is the whole table set up you can see it takes up a large percentage of the board so you get everything you need in this one set for a full game okay so here's a closer look at the largest piece of the set it is the centerpiece you can put in the middle of the board and it just takes up a lot of space. There's some models on here for size comparison. So you can see it is a behemoth of a ruin. There are these smaller windows that you can actually remove and they just pop out like that. So they might fall on the models. So you could use some sticky tack or something to just keep them in place. Uh, but if you want to completely block this whole wall, you could. So that is an option too. Okay, so this is the second largest piece with the set. There's a model in front for size comparison. I'll give it a quick spin. So there you go, there are another three levels you can use. And these are some larger doors that you could remove as well. Um, sometimes we just lean them on the side for just extra terrain features. Uh, but you can also block all the line of sight at the bottom. So with the set, you get two of these pieces and one of the larger center pieces, along with two of these slightly smaller ruins. And there's another size comparison. So this is the other one. It has two levels. And you can see here that there's even rocks and other details. So this could block some models facing. So not the best for game use, but it still looks really thematic and cool. So here is the last piece of terrain. It's the small one. So there's another size comparison. 
and you get four of these pieces. But one thing we found is that you could make a larger terrain piece with them. So you can mix all four together and form like a broken house feature like this. And you can also mix and match and have something like that. So you can even keep them in the middle of the board and have a ruined city type of look. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys wanna check out the separate video we did of the match shown in this video and some extras, check that out as well. Links are in the description below. If you wanna visit the company gamemats.eu, all the links are also in the description. So check them out. So thank you guys for watching the video. We'll see you guys around next time. Rock on.